Hey guys, if you have been following my channel as of late, um, in the past few weeks, there have been not one, but two surprise third jersey change announcements from the Calgary Flames and the Boston Bruins of the NHL. And both teams decided to retire their third jerseys and replace both of them with throwback jerseys. So Calgary decided to switch to their 1980s throwback full-time again as their third jersey. And the Bruins decided to take their very popular Winter Classic jersey from last year when they wore it against the Montreal Canadiens at Gillette Stadium and have made that their third jersey for the 2016-17 season. However, those two teams aren't the only two teams that have made some surprise third jersey announcements. <clears throat> the truth is, the Atlanta Falcons of the NFL have also dropped a small bomb and have made a surprise unveiling as well. And in fact, the truth is, I'm a little bit late on this topic because the Falcons have already worn this jersey once this season. And the good news is they are planning on wearing it for one more game this season. So as you can see here, the Falcons, in honor of their 50th anniversary, have decided to bring their 1966 throwback jersey back as a third jersey once again. However, it is not exactly the same as it was before. And the truth is, this is not a completely accurate 1966 throwback uniform. And some of you may be thinking, what? That looks like a throwback to me. Well, yes, it does. The uniform is a throwback. I mean, the, the jersey, the pants. However, the helmet is different. And the truth is, the Falcons have actually slightly modified their socks this time around. And before I get into all of the specifics, I want to mention that there was some speculation right at the beginning of this 2016 NFL season that the Falcons really wanted to bring back a throwback third jersey for their move to their new stadium starting next year in 2017. <coughs> Sorry, guys. However, the Falcons have surprised us by unveiling it a little bit early. And the thing is, this was a surprise announcement. However, with it not only being their 50th anniversary as an NFL franchise, but also with the fact that this is actually their final stadium or their final season at the Georgia Dome, it makes a lot of sense that the Falcons have decided to bring this throwback back as a third jersey again for this 2016 season. And in my opinion, I think it is a very nice touch. So now I'm going to talk about the changes that the Falcons have made to their throwback. Now, oh, here I just have to click something here. Here we go. So change number one, the biggest change of the entire uniform is the Falcons red helmet. Now as you can see the Falcons used to wear this throwback with their old scarlet red helmet which in my personal opinion is one of the best helmets in the NFL. I think it's great. I love the color of it. So because of the NFL's uh, one helmet rule you may be wondering, actually, before I even get into that, I think you guys might be wondering why the Falcons are only using their regular black helmet with the old throwback logo put on it instead of their current logo. And allow me to explain. Now, the truth is, for the past few years, the NFL has had a one helmet rule. And this rule came about after a recommendation from a group of doctors to uh, have the NFL players only wear one helmet per player for the entire entirety of a season. And the reason behind this, and of course they have to get a new helmet if their helmet's broken beyond repair. I mean, obviously they can't just magically 
At that point, they can't just wear it if it's completely smashed apart. But the thing, but the idea of the one helmet rule is to protect players from head injuries. However, I scratch my head at that for one reason. Although, although the one helmet for an entire season better fits a player because it molds to a player's head over time, the truth is these guys, for the most part, are still smashing each other helmet to helmet, game after game. And I don't see how the one helmet rule is really going to have a drastic effect on reducing head injuries in the NFL. Now, if anybody disagrees with that, that's fine. But in my personal opinion, I just don't see how that is going to be a help in terms of reducing head injuries. And as I say that, I think it's fantastic that the NFL is trying to reduce head injuries. I think it's very important for the safety and the health of the players, myself. But I don't think that having a one helmet rule for an entire season is the right way to go about it. And I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, to be honest. And personally, I hate saying that. Now, the other thing that bothers me about this one helmet rule, to be honest with you guys, is that it prevents a lot of teams such as the New England Patriots, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, even the Washington Redskins with their throwback third jersey. Because before, they used to have a faux leather helmet that they wore with it. And also the Dallas Cowboys and even the Philadelphia Eagles from wearing their old throwback uniforms. Because to wear them, they have to wear a different helmet. With the Buccaneers, when they used to wear their creamsicle Bucko, Bucko Bruce throwback, it was with a white helmet. Same with the Patriots. And in fact, both of those throwbacks are fantastic in my op opinion. And I think it sucks that they can't use them anymore. And on top of that, you know, I, I, can't, I would not be surprised if it has had a bit of an effect on jersey sales across the NFL. Because throwbacks, especially if they're very nice throwbacks, can be very, very popular, depending on the jersey, of course. And I know one thing, the Patriots' old red throwback is a very popular jersey. And although I don't live in the Massachusetts area... Guess what? Even in my neck of the woods up here in Canada, I still see quite a few people from time to time wearing New England Patriots red throwback jerseys. So now that they're not wearing them anymore, I think it's a bit of a shame. And I think they might actually be missing out on some sales because as far as I'm concerned, that throwback alone is one hell of a nice jersey. And same with this Falcons one. But anyways... If you hear the term blended throwback to describe this uniform here that the Falcons have brought in for this season, um, it's because the helmet is the helmet that they used back in the 1990s. And if you look at the socks, notice that they're now more red and way less white. So now there's just a small white stripe below the red stripe. And in my opinion, it actually looks very nice. And I love the simplicity of this uniform. Now also I want to point out that the names and numbers have red trim around them. And of course their throwback logo is on the end of the arms of the jersey. And this black helmet just alone with the black, plain black helmet in my opinion actually looks really good. And Truth is, although I would have preferred to have seen the Falcons bring back their scarlet red helmet, which they can't because of the NFL's one helmet rule, I gotta say this. Ironically, I think this black helmet has actually been a very nice compromise. I think it actually really looks good on this jersey. And, however, you know what I think would have been really nice? If they would have had a main stripe down the middle in scarlet red surrounded by two thinner white stripes, which is practically just a reverse of the helmet striping on their old scarlet red helmet. And if they would have done something like that, I, not only do I think this black helmet would have been perfect, but even in its current 
style that they've brought in, why don't they make this their home jersey again? I mean, I think it's a fantastic uniform. And yeah, I know the Oakland Raiders have a plain black jersey with silver numbers that they have had for many years now. And I think you Oakland Raider fans have great, have a team with some very nice uniforms. And I love that the Raiders have kept it simple for so long. I, re I really do. But I think that having another team with a plain black jersey with white numbers and red trim, like the uh, Atlanta Falcons here, I think it looks great. And to be honest, I think it's better than their current home and away jerseys. And speaking of those, um, let me see here. Um, okay, one sec. Sorry, guys. Um, there we go. I wish my computer would hurry up. Wow, slower than molasses today. Okay, anyways, pardon the interruption, but here's a look at Atlanta's current uniforms. And as you can tell, their uh, helmet on their thr blended throwback uniform for this 2016 season is nothing more than their current regular black helmet with their uh, throwback helmet, throwback logo on it instead of their current one. Now, if you look at Atlanta's current uniforms, in my opinion, they're not that bad. But I gotta be honest, I'm not a big fan of this bit of piping right here, and Although I think they're actually not too bad. To be honest, I do think they could be a bit better. And see the pants striping here, the plain socks. It's not bad. And I think Atlanta did a good job when they brought these uniforms in. Not going to lie. but And also, you notice the black pit piping type thing that they've got under there. The black blocks where the armpits are. You know, although I think these are decent uniforms, I do think they could be better. And to be honest, I I can't say that I don't think their uh, throwback is better than these. And if they decided to make a white version of their uh, black throwback again and, and go with those full-time when they move to their new stadium next year, I think that would be absolutely awesome. I really, I really do. However, you know, if I had my way... I'm going to quickly show you guys what I would love to see the Falcons switch to again. And I apologize if the quality of this photo is not very good, but you see this old mid-1970s Falcons uniform? In my opinion, it is a thing of beauty. I love the bright red uniform with the black and white stripes on it. I think it is a very nice, simple uniform. And the truth is, if they brought this uniform in, and went with their black helmet that they've used for their throwback this season with a red stripe down the middle with two white stripes surrounding it, in my opinion, the Falcons would have an absolute winner. Honestly. And even as I say that, though, this Falcons throwback, in my opinion, is a thing of beauty, and I think it's a fantastic uniform. I mean, look at it. I mean, it's nice and simple. No monochrome going on here. Nice white pants with a nice big bright red stripe with some black trim around it. Nice, decent, simple socks. A, a very good looking helmet in my opinion. I love the red helmet, but I think the black one looks fantastic too. I, I really do. I just wish it had the stripes like the red helmet. If it did, in my opinion, it would have been absolutely perfect. I would almost argue it might even actually look a little bit better. <laughs> well, I, I, it's tough to say because I love this red helmet, but this black one, I mean, if you look at the photos, I think it actually looks really good. Not going to lie. But anyways, besides that, I mean, if you look at this uniform, this uniform, in my opinion, puts a lot of some, puts some of these more modern looks to shame. It's... It's simple, it has a good logo, nice sock pattern, no monochrome, no black pants, nice white pants for contrast, very nice simple sock striping. You know what, this is all you need in a uniform. And I wish more teams <coughs> such as the uh, <coughs> Jacksonville Jaguars would get the memo. 
because uniforms like this, in my opinion, are the best in football. Because they're not worried about using new collegiate looks, weird sublimated design patterns, or helmet gradients. All they worry about is just having a nice simple uniform. And in my personal opinion, that's the way it should be. And that's also why I think it's such a shame that some of these throwbacks are no longer being used across the NFL. And I also forgot to mention um, that that old 1960s Dallas Cowboys throwback they used to wear every Thanksgiving. I used to love watching the Cowboys on Thanksgiving just to see that uniform. The navy blue with the white on the shoulders. I thought that was a wonderful throwback. And I think it's a huge shame that they don't wear it anymore. Although, I am very impressed with the job that they did do with their color rush uniform. I would have preferred the Navy 60s throwback still being allowed to be used because of the NFL's uh, one helmet rule. They can't. But I think their color rush uniform, although it's nowhere near as good as their old 60s Navy blue throwback, in my opinion, I still think it was a very good compromise. However, anyways, um, with that, um, I'm going to call this video a wrap. And as far as all I can say is I think the Falcons made the right decision bringing this uniform back. And the black helmet is such a nice compromise for the red helmet that they can't use anymore. And I think the Falcons also did a great job with changing up the sock striping because in my opinion, this is a fantastic uniform. And... I think the Falcons did an absolutely fantastic job with the uniform under the circumstances behind the NFL's one helmet rule. So hats off to you Atlanta. Your team has got one hell of a nice blended throwback jersey. Or I should say uniform. And they've already worn it once against San Diego and they will be wearing it one more time. So if you're a fan of it like I am, feel free to check that game out. It'll be a nice one to watch. But anyways, um, I hope the Falcons, uh, hopefully this will lead to new uniforms at some point. And also, oh yeah, I've got one more thing I want to mention before I wrap this up. Sorry for holding you guys up in terms of ending this video. But um, I want to quickly mention something else. And it's about the uh, Falcons color rush uniform. And I am really sorry for uh, randomly popping up and saying, oh, don't forget the Falcons uniform. Um, or color rush uniform. But I want to watch. I want to show you guys it for just a quick second here for a reason. Now um, let's see. Um, can I get a better picture of it? Uh, here we go. Here we go. I'm so sorry about the uh, interruption, you guys. But I want you guys to take a look at this Falcons color rush uniform. Do you notice that it, it has the same simplicity as the '66 blended throwback that they just brought out for the 2016 season? You notice that traditional red, traditional striping on the red pants, plus the very simplistic red jersey. You know, seeing this ultra simple, very nice color rush look for the Falcons, as well as their 66 blended throwback for this season, you know, I kind of wonder if the Falcons and the idea of new uniforms for the Falcons may not be as much of a thought and more of a possibility than we think. And with them moving into their new stadium next season, I would not be surprised if we see the Falcons make a change in the next few years. And if they go with something simple like this, boy, I think they would have some of the best uniforms in the NFL. Like even this red jersey with the old black throwback helmet with a red scarlet red stripe down the middle with the two white stripes surrounding it. If they did that, and imagine this with the white pants and the red socks red socks done like the black throwback socks, as you can see right here. In my opinion, the Atlanta Falcons would have two of the best uniforms in the NFL. And if this was a third jersey for those, wow, that would be amazing. But anyways, on that note, um, this time, that's it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And as always, until I make my next video, take care. And bye for now.